Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. <coughs> Olá pessoal, vou só por aqui. Ok, já cá estamos. Ora, bem-vindos a mais um vídeo e hoje vamos aos descalvos, como podem ver aqui na mesa, é o que nós vamos aqui à, à guerra. Uh, today guys, I'm going to <coughs> use to put the decals and I got here a major problem uh, on the construction and so I'm going to um, make this another way uh, so very different way to do it so I start cutting uh, all my details not all but I see <coughs> one problem here you can see I put uh, these things here and the decals it's going to be right there but before we put uh, this iron cross and it's not going to work so fine so I'm going to invent a, a little for this one I got this big one too and this one and this one so I'm going to cut and of course I'm going to show you how to work uh, <clears throat> with this let me show you guys right here we got the decal set and we got the decal fix so I'm going to show how to use this and how to put the decals so I'm going to make uh, like almost um, a what if uh, but in, in the um, World War One, they I make a lots of uh, different things and they are not too much photographs for that so uh, we'll do this one but in a different way okay so for this the first thing I'm going to need to need to make okay it's the first step for the decals <clears throat> these steps are very 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 important so I'm going to put my decals away for now and for me this is one of the most important uh, things to do <coughs> on the model okay so let's grab here my cheese table like I always said this big one you can see here and you can see this is a very uh, important company for modeling IKEA <laughs> so this is very cheap and this is what we need to work uh, when we are using the airbrush right so I'm going to grab my glasses so first thing we are going to, uh, to need to know I'm going to put decals around here 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 on the side too and on the back uh, when you, you do this step I advise you to use uh, gloss varnish okay I'm going to use Emo uh, the lucky varnish it's really easy uh, to use and they are uh, different uh, some guys um, ask me about the, how to make uh, the mix of this sorry about my dog uh, they have four different types of varnish we got the glossy, we got the satin, we got the matte and we got the ultra matte alright uh, so for this part I'm just going to use the glossy and the glossy I use with acrylic thinner in the ratio of 50% okay uh, you can use water but it's not so good the water uh, because uh, it cannot mix so well so it's better to use thinner but it's up to you you use what you want okay so for the application of the varnish I got here uh, the Hemo uh, Air Cobra this is a 03 point needle this is awesome for these works and for painting too uh, on this I got uh, the pressure I have here it's two bars 
because I want this to flow really well. If you are using um, a 0 2.0 like you know, I have on this evolution, uh, you must thin more uh, the varnish. It's very important uh, to make that. So, it's yes, you must shake too the varnish. It's much better. So, let's open this. And because I am using zero through needle, so let's make a mix one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's enough. Eight. And I will I explain the steps why it's very important to use the gloss and not the other one. So the same mixture eight drops from one and it drops for another and let's mix this really well so guys you are very quiet today so don't be shy if you have any questions so the mix is done now before I'm not going to varnish on the bottom because I'm not going to put any um, any any decals there. So I'm just going to put uh, mostly where I'm going to put the decals. Um, so the first layer, I'm going to put more here on the front. Here on the side too. So it's that why you see sometimes I have my model so shiny. It's that because I've used the gloss. So you can go with the air dryer, of course. And I hope today the sound is good. Yesterday I have a problem uh, here with the Facebook. It's what from Facebook I I see the data and it was from Facebook. Hello Martin, how are you? Hello Bonnie Sobrino, do you make a diorama with the omnibus and the whip it? Yes I will do. I will do a diorama for So now I go again just a little more. So I need just a little more of the mix. So one, two, three, four. It's only half now. Okay, remember when you are using a brush and you put in the water, so it brings lots of water, just go uh, with a tower paper and remove most of the excess because you can, uh, if you don't clean, you can count with mo one more drop of thinner, of course. Thank you very much. Uh, Bonnie, I'm sorry, it's what uh, the sound, the sound is what's terrible. Okay, so let's go and put a little more.
okay it's good uh, for this so I'm going just to use a little cleaner uh, remember clean your airbrushes nice when you are using varnish uh, because it's going to stick all over your airbrush in everything and when you are cleaning just go there with the brush on the tip it helps remove a lot now just a little more sorry so but for me this is a very important step for I have my brush running without any problems and now I just put a little water to run this smoothly okay it's Let's put this away. Hello Nico. Uh, the mix I uh, use is 50-50% uh, uh, because I am using a 0.3 point needle. If I use a, a less one like a 0.2 or a 0.15 uh, the mix is better to be 25 of the varnish and 75 of the thinner. Uh, of course, this that way it you not uh, make a good uh, varnish uh, work. But you instead to use one uh, one passage or two, you make three or four, uh, and then you go with the same result. Normally, I, I said it's better to make two or three passage for a uh, good thing. But in this matter. Uh, it's going to be just for the decals, all right? Uh, what I do with the glossy? So, I do the first coat with the glossy. Uh, if you can, you can um, uh, leave to dry about 24 hours. It's the best way. Uh, with the air dryer, I use for uh, to work more first. Uh, when I am doing the demos or the workshops, uh, we need to work a little more fast for showing to the people like I am doing on these videos. Uh, and I use the air dryer. Of course, the, the varnish is not going to dry nice, but you can work really nice. So I put one, one uh, I put the glossy, uh, I dry or I wait, and then when I Put my decals. I will wait uh, about 24 hours for the decals to set all, and then I do again with the satin, var uh, satin, not the, uh, sorry, with the glossy varnish. Again, all, just only on the tops of the decals. What I do with this trick? I will do uh, effect of a mirror, right? Normally we have uh, the big problem with the silver, uh, the silvering of, of the decals. You can see uh, the, the limits of the decals and that it's, it's very bad. So with the two top, uh, with the two uh, ways you put the, the glossy, it's going to make a mirror. And then you can go with the satin or a matte and it's going to work fantastic in all the decals, okay. Uh, we have the, all decals. It's uh, more thick. That it's more a problem. So that it's another way. But with the decals we have on today on the market, this way it's really really good. The only struggle I have with um, the new decals, uh, not uh, the newest. It's uh, from Zvezda. Uh, from Zvezda, the, they are very very thick and normally you see so what I do I use the glossy then I use a, a little sandpaper with a little water and then I sand around the decals and then I go again with the glossy in normal it's uh, you have good results but it's oh, the, the decals I see more difficulty okay uh, So, 
Smith. Go and drive it with it off. As you can see, it's a little uh, gloss, okay? But it's normal. And put the air dry in the low, okay? Do not put it in, in this because if you are on the top, uh, maybe sometimes you can bend some parts, okay? The little uh, more thin, you, you, it's, it's not good, believe it. You're welcome, Nico. Okay, if you can, just wait 24 hours and it works much better. But now I just want to show you guys how to make this. So, here I go. Now let's put this away and let's go for the decals. Uh, grab a towel paper. Okay, I'm going to put right here. Uh, grab some something to put water. I have this, and I'm going to put in some water. And sometimes uh, people think this is complicated to use, and they have that struggle. Uh, the decals uh, broke. Uh, Normally the decal broke because uh, they, you put uh, too much time in water, right? So I'm going to grab and I will show you. So I am grab this one, just put in water. This one too, right now. And these two. So I keep in water and I wait about 20 seconds, only 20, 20 seconds. Then I will put on the towel pa paper, resting, alright? And about uh, one minute, they are ready to go, alright? And this way, you, you're you not going to break the, the decals normally, okay? But they are a more complicated decals, and yeah, you must have a little patience and more careful. Uh, you see, okay? So you can see. Now I'm going to remove, of course the decal at this time, it's not going to move. And it gives me time to cut the others I'm going to use. So don't, don't put always uh, all the decals. Okay, this side. We cut this one. Use a sharp blade for this step. Okay. For now, I think. This is going to be all of these, and let me see, <coughs> right here, we are going to need the number, uh, it's going to be the 33, it's the 40 here, and it's just what we are going to need. Okay, this one. Okay. Uh, some of you are thinking why I not paint any details yet, okay? I paint the details later when I put the decals, because when I start making the weathering, the first chippings, uh, 
using the filters I just I want to have the decals on the top and dry and ready to go so that it's going to be another video the today video it's more uh, it's it's more little because I'm going to show you these steps uh, for you guys to see how it's good and for some guys I'm talking about the decal fix okay you have you have some struggles uh, because they said it's it breaks all, all the decals we got here this part with some rivets and let's see how it's going to be at the end so I'm going to put the I'm going to show you and tomorrow I will post some some pictures how it's uh, how it sets okay so it's really easy for you guys to see so the first we need so there is no big problems it's you got number one and number two okay the decal set is for you to set and you can work with the decals uh, and the two okay if for setting and make the decals more soft right so you can use these or these uh, with a mix of water if you if you are if you want to it, it, it's more easy to show you so I'm going to put right away one of these sides it's going to be this side uh, that skull and I'm going to put another here another here the, the cross but I'm not going to put yet there because this starts to to dry and then when you put the decal it's it maybe some sometimes you're going to stop there and if you are putting the decals on the matte surface in it, in it, it's, it is very difficult okay so I open this and let's put here we got here some edges so let's see how it's going to be the decal there too but on this you must uh, F patient and let this dry. Okay, now I grab and you can see it's smooth and it's not very soft the decal. Okay, so let's start putting the first skull. Now, in this step, if you have any struggles using this, you can put a little more on the top. And there, if you have continue to have the struggles, it's very simple. Just go and put a little water there, and we can move the decal really, really nice. Okay, so the first one. So now I'm just leave there. Okay. A lot of it all today. So now I'm going to put the two crosses here. I just want to put the, in this way. Uh, it's not what you have on the um, on this model, but I want to put one cross with one skull. So I'm going to dip the one skull here. Okay and I start grabbing the decal set and this part it's going to be the two crosses and one it's going to have the other one and you can see I am putting this and because I have the varnish it's not going to make any damage for uh, on the painting so let's remove First one, you see it slides so easily. One like this. I love these iron cross, they are so pretty. Now I'll just try to align a little this one. Okay, some guys have struggles um, 
to destroy the, the, the decals because they use a blade. Okay, the blades are not so good because you start when you are trying to position, you start uh, to damage. Okay, so for that, it's use a tweezer. This have a sharp, but it's not so sharp like uh, like the X knife, and uh, or you can use a, a toothpick for that. It's so easy like that. So let's see. I can remove now the skull. And rest a little. Now I can put the other one, the bigger one, the other big cross, and the number two. Okay. So the decal set, it's not going to put your decal uh, soft and melt around and on the top of any. Line, panel line or any rivet okay it's not going to do that it's you are going to need this one and you when you are working with the uh, weakest uh, decals you can mix this with 50 percent of water okay you can put uh, you can use a, a pipette and remove two or three drops of the fix and put two or three drops of water and it helps really nice and it's it's not so aggressive all right uh, here uh se não colocar o verniz primeiro que acontece ora uh, sorry guys just uh, talking a little portuguese um o verniz o que é que vai fazer vai te fazer o efeito de espelho uh, se meteres primeiro o verniz gloss depois metes o, o decalque depois quando o decalque estiver tudo ok com ele já te utilizaste um, o fixante, uh, depois deves pôr o gloss outra vez. Ele vai fazer o teu chamado um efeito, efeito de espelho. E todo aquela, aquele rebordo que tem à volta do decalque uh, normalmente desaparece. Portanto, não faz o chamado silverinho que tu vês nos decalques. Uh, e depois aí, sim senhora, podes usar o verniz que quiseres, o matte ou o satin, ou, é o que vocês quiserem depois pôr em cima. Mas isso ajuda muito, 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 muito mesmo a não acontecer isso. Ok? Portanto, é por isso que eu meto sempre o verniz. E, para mais, o verniz vai proteger a pintura. Normalmente, se tu, tu fores utilizar uh, os produtos da... De... Ai, deixa-me aqui agarrar. Se fores utilizar coisas deste estilo, uh, depois com, com o, micro, o microsol, essas coisas todas, normalmente são um bocado mais agressivos. E se não tiveres o verniz, o que pode acontecer é atacar também a pintura. Ok? Portanto, conselho sempre o verniz. Uh, e, se possível, sempre o gloss, que é para fazer cortar esse fazer esse efeito de espelho e escondermos o silvinho, ok? Uh, olá Carlos, boa noite, tudo bem? Uh, está cá a ver? Isto aqui ficou. Esse produto não... Espera aí, que eu não percebi ainda porque é que vou estar a fazer isto. Ok. Não regaja a tinta. Ora, se ouvi isto, Carlos, o problema da tinta... Uh, se pusermos verniz, não, normalmente. Uh, e sou sincero, ainda não utilizo isto só diretamente sobre, sobre tinta, vou experimentar. Acredito que se for em cima de acrílicas não, não haverá problema nenhum. Mas uh, se for à, à base de álcool, ou, é, ou enamel, ou, ou o que for, portanto, é aí é capaz de reagir que isto é capaz de ter para pessoas uh, coisas. Mas eu hei de fazer uns testes e depois hei de dizer o que é reage não. Agora, em cima do verniz, uh, salvo, sem, sem problema nenhum, ok? Sorry guys, uh, just telling that none of the views are ah, over here, open Carlos. So, now let's remove, ok, we are talking and I forget here. This one's there. So, we'll go here, here, and the number. Now I can remove the skull and I'm going to put the skull on the top of this. So I grab a little more of the decal set. Or not. Hmm. It's going to have here a big uh, the big skull. So what if I put here? Yeah, why not? 
it's going to be right there so like I said this is my model I I'm trying to make something historical but I can make whatever I want okay and I think it it looks pretty okay so it's different than the the, the others okay now we have that so the big cross it's going to be all right it it's it's going to it's one of the it's going to be on the top but I like to put this here and I'm going to put the big cross maybe here on the back I don't know let me see let me see so let's put here the big skull and this one it's going to be more difficult because we have these big rivets so I put a little more of the decal set because I want to move this freely just removing that numbers and you can see I work really nice with my hands now let's start working this I got here the keys So at this time you need to have more careful. I'm just going to use my finger to make a little pressure on the rivet. And here it is. Simple. Now it the the decal fix it's going to make this work uh, really really nice okay there and there so it's going to be very different okay let me see if I put this before I'm going to remove all these numbers I don't want this to mess with my decal, okay, I just would use water to let it flow. And let me see where I can put this. Here. Oh, nice. You're on the door. So when this star, uh, when this uh, dries, I'm going to put, I'm going to use the sharp blade because you're on the back of the door and on handles. So yes, let's try here and see how it works. Yes, and a little bend right here, so I use a decal set. So it, it is very different when we are using uh, water, because it has an adhesive thing here. Okay, I like it. So it's very different and normally we do. And now I'm going to put right there the number. Okay. So 
Uh, let's grab the number. It's the 53. Whoops. Okay, when you are done with this, you are not going to use any more the decal set. Okay, remember this is very different from water. Yes, and these uh, properties, and it it helps a lot uh, this to to grab on, on the model. Uh, and if you are putting the satin, uh, the glossy varnish, it helps a lot because you can go uh, up and down with the decal with no much problem. All right. So let's remove this one, and here it is. Okay. Now the trick: just grab a little of a tower paper. You can see this part I cut and it's fluffy this part of it. So now I'm going just to touch on them and for removing uh, the excess of the decal set. Okay. At this point you don't make any pressure for the decals went to the rivets of the panel. This is going to make to work for you and tomorrow I will use a very uh, nice blade and then I will cut the parts I need for this to go well. But don't try to make this one uh, on the first 24 hours. It's going to be bad. Believe it. Even here, it starts to showing the rivets. Oops, you can see there. But you don't want this to tear apart, so you just want this to melt and went nice. So let's remove. Now I can make a little pressure when I don't have any more of this one. Here I got here. A little on this, so I just touch there to went nice, and here too, but not too much pressure. Okay, be gentle. Okay, and let me see. I can show you. You're on this because it's F that gloss. You can see the the outside of the decals and when I'm going to put uh, the satin varnish on the top of this uh, and I got the gloss on the bottom it's going to help a lot to hide this one and then when you do when you put the satin or uh, the, the, the mat it's normally you don't see almost almost anything okay it's not 100% but normally it works like this so now that I uh, remove the excess of uh, the decal set, I'm going to use the decal fix right away. So you don't have any problems with that. And if you start making this on the morning, uh, I think you start working at 9. So when uh, it's uh, about uh, 3 or, or on the uh, <coughs> oh my god 15 uh, hours of the day you can put again and then in, uh, at midnight you can put again so it's up to you uh, to put or not normally on the, this, this, this kind of surface it's a plane so you don't have that problems with that but on this ones it's much better to put so just open and right away I put in all the decal guys don't make any pressure so just put in all over and today my cat 
It's calling about another cat. <laughs> So this is, for me, it's the right way, okay? I know there are other theories how to make, to put the decals. And this is, for me, it's the best way to put the decals, guys. You can see we got here this little edge this bone is on the top of one rivet and tomorrow I'll post the photos for you guys to see now you can see here this line too and tomorrow I will show you got here one line there and one line here and this is going to help to go all the way on that panels uh, don't try on this step to cut uh, the decal. You are going to destroy it, all right? So you wait for the other day. You make the cut, okay? Very, very, very gentle, and then you put again the decal fix, and it melts again, and it's going to be fantastic. Believe it or not, this is the way I make a lot. Uh, Many years, all right. Okay, and I put everywhere. Let me see. So we have that temptation to start a dabbing or making some pressure for the decal uh, to set on the rivets or on the panels. Don't do that. So this is going to help a lot so i'm just going to put a little more here and all the other again okay and this will dry quickly and it's done and you can see it's not attacking the the paint really it's not going to be on the paint so uh, it's very different uh, from here but I look I let a lot of uh, the schematic and I went for a different way uh, like this it's it seems like some uh, what if I'm, I saw uh, on the internet from guys using a uh, that body from an airplane with the, with the body of uh, a car so it's something like this okay so here it is all right if you have any questions about these products okay just ask me no no problems uh, and I hope uh, you guys understand what I do uh, with the varnish okay I'm using ammo but you can use the the same technique it's for every every uh, um, kind of, of, of varnish right the glossy first imagine you're just going to have one decal right here so you just need to put the glossy there okay if you you can put if you don't have uh, air brush okay just do it with the uh, with the brush there is no no problem then when it's dry and you are happy with the work and it's all set just go again and put another uh, glossy uh, coat on the varnish so the the next step I'm just going to put the glossy all over my decals and I'm not going to put all over uh, my uh, my model the another questions I know you have sometimes, right? Next, what I'm going to do the satin or the matte varnish. Uh, normally, it's um, up to you when you think I like my I'm going to like my model with more shine uh, aspect. 
or uh, the others I just don't want any shine I just want this matte okay but for me this is very important the, the two uh, why uh, because normally when I'm going to make the filters so the next time I'm going to put the glossy just on the decals and then I will put a general coating of satin varnish uh, why because I'm going to put the filters and when I am putting the filters the filters it's not the washes or the pin washes so the filters it's going to make the transition of all the the work I do with the color modulation on this and if you have a camouflage pattern uh, if you use filters it's going uh, to unify all, all the colors and the transition it's really much better okay so for that I use satin varnish and I'm going to use some filters from Amo of course and this is going to help me to spread all the uh, the filters because the filters you don't want to go on the rivets or on the panels nothing like that it's just like you are putting a very 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 thin uh, color uh, on, on your model all right then okay when I'm going to start making uh, the pin washes uh, the panel liners and the streakings so then I use the matte varnish all right on this everything you put on the on the uh, glossy top it's going to spread all over okay you don't have uh, almost any, any control over the things you are putting if you put the satin you have more control it's a 50 50 control right and when we put the mud you have lots of controls what are you doing okay all the things you are going to put there it's going to grab much better like the pigments when they are putting the pigments if you put the pigments on the top of the matte varnish normally they grab I know some guys have the struggles I I put uh, the pigments and 50% or more it came out of of the the model it's if you that's it's why you're not using a matte uh, varnish use a matte varnish and you see it's going to be much much more uh, the control okay Carlos uh, Martin super robot <laughs> Buenas noches Georgia Georgia uh, so the video of today it's uh, it's a uh, little very little uh, because I want to guys to see the other step uh, this step the on uh, Monday I'm going to make the video again I'm not going to do any more on this uh, just one thing tomorrow I'm going to give a little more of the decal fix just right here uh, on this skull here and here on the back okay on this I'm not going to to need anything because it's, this is the surface plane and this one is just to go then on Monday I will put uh, the satin varnish uh, first the glossy varnish I'll use my air dryer to dry this put the coat on this and start putting the the, the first filters uh, normally on this one I like to use um, a very cold uh, color from this and for me I put always the blue filter in every gray things for me it's uh, a must because it brings more life to the model but that you can't see on Monday Monday okay so I will post on Facebook the photograph uh, the things I'm going to use for uh, that video and then we see that on the weekend I just uh, stay on my store I take some pictures with my friends so you can see uh, our E on the club uh, just a little Portuguese pessoal, até já vou estar de aparecer no, aqui na, na loja na Rust, já sabem que tenho o um clube lá dentro ah, venham tirar as dúvidas não tenham problemas, não sejam acanhados porque eu noto que há muita malta que está aí acanhada e parece que tem medo nós temos condições suficientes por causa do Covid nós temos as mesas todas paradas para, para, para terem a segurança ah, lógico que é obrigatório o uso de máscara mas quando estamos a ver um, 
uma caneca ou uma, ou uma cerveja ou um sumo ou comer qualquer coisa já sabe aí é diferente pronto mas isso normalmente é como qualquer café que, que está por aí uh, apareçam não tenham problema sábado cá estamos é para não se esqueçam vai jogar o, o Sporting Porto portanto vou cá estar temos cá o a Sport TV para vocês verem uh, e no domingo também é o jogo do Benfica portanto podem podem vir ver à vontade Uh, falamos um bocadinho, vemos um bocadinho, convivemos, convivemos todos e não há cá confusões de clubismos, ok? Epá, a gente manda uma, uns bitites, mas aqui a malta toda se porta bem, toda a gente uh, uh, respeita os uns aos outros, que é a parte mais importante, ok? Uh, vou marcar também a reunião uh, do clube, que é para a gente, uh, eu vou atribuir uh, cargos a certas pessoas para começarmos a tratar da primeira exposição aqui na, na REST e, e alguns eventos que vamos fazer no interior do clube e fora do clube também temos já algumas coisas programadas, já faladas ah, e, e muito obrigado a quem tem, quem, tem, quem, quem tem estado cá e tem ajudado bastante ah, cada vez assemos mais, ah, cada vez somos mais sócios portanto é porreiro Uh, se não tem hipóteses que são longe uh, aqui do clube, é pá, não tem problema, procurem na, na vossa área uh, mais, mais pessoal, mais clubes, mais associações, elas andam todas por aí, uh, porque depois todos nós, nós não somos inimigos uns dos outros, nós juntamos-nos todos uns aos outros, e isso para mim é que é a parte mais importante, ok? Nós que somos, o, que somos o, os presidentes o, das associações ou dos clubes, nós juntamos, nós falamos uh, todas as semanas, Uh, para estarmos em sintonia, tentamos não nos atropelar, que é a parte mais importante. Ainda agora uh, a EMRL está a fazer o Museu do Modelista, uh, acho, acho que é uma ideia fantástica, uh, tem espaço para tal, uh, as pessoas são em pé, ajudem no que, po no que podem, eu infelizmente ao fim de semana estou sempre presa aqui ao meu clube, ou, ou vou para fora, agora, agora não estou a ir para fora, esta situação do Covid é... é, é é complicado e por acaso tenho saudades uh, realmente ir para fora, especialmente uh, para a Espanha. Toda a gente que gosta, porque eu gosto muito de Espanha e da Alemanha, ok? Pessoal, muito obrigado por terem visto. Uh, apareçam uh, e tenham um grande fim de semana. Guys, sorry uh, about Portuguese. Um, I hope you have a great uh, weekend and a big up for all. And I catch you up on Monday, ok? So, bye guys.